Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 38th Flutter tutorial. Sorry, my phone made a weird noise. Um, I had some user feedback. I really try to keep up on my inbox, but sometimes it's just impossible. But this one really stood out. It said, hey, I've been doing work in Android, and I want to know how to do application lifecycle in Flutter. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just Google Android app lifecycle. And there's tons of graphics out here that kind of explain there's a created, a started, a resumed, a pause, a stopped. And what is all this? What does it really mean? All right, so if we just do our live template, we're going to run this. Here you see we have the clock application open. It's going to flip over into our app. So this thing is now running. Now what happens if we go back into that? Well, cell phones are not like your laptop sitting in front of you, your desktop. They run on limited power, they have batteries, and they have power constraints. So what they do is when you put an app into the background, they will pause that app. And when you pull it into the foreground, they'll resume that app. So sometimes, some applications, it's very helpful to know when the application is in and out of the foreground or when it's paused or suspended. So that's what we're really going to look at today. Kind of non-visual, um, you're going to have to kind of take a little bit of a leap of faith here, but that's what we're going to do. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to say with widgets binding observer. Bang. So what this will do is it'll allow us to actually observe the life cycle in pretty much real time. So we're going to do a control O and just have a look around here. You notice how there is some some interesting properties here like uh, did change locale, did change application lifestyle state. Ooh, that sounds promising. We're done. We'll definitely add that. And then we're going to just control O again. And we want the init state. And let's just control O one more time. And we're just going to have a little peek here. Dispose. There it is. So now what you can see is kind of a pattern here. We got when the state is initialized or when it's first turned on, when the did change app lifecycle state, meaning when the cycle changed, did it get paused, resumed, suspended, and then when it's disposed, meaning it's no longer needed. Uh, remember in Dart, there is no such concept as a deconstructor. So you can't simply say, hey, the deconstructor of this class like you would with other languages. You have to actually track this whole life cycle gets a little tricky, but it's really not too hard. So we're going to say print init state, super.init state, and then widgets, whoops, widgets binding observer, the instance. Why are you not doing, oh, that's why, widgets binding instance dot add observer, and we're just going to add this, the current object here. So what we're doing there is we're binding to the widgets binding instance, blah, blah, blah. Basically saying we want to observe this object's life cycle. Then in the dispose, we'll fill this out because it's pretty easy. We're just going to do the exact opposite here. I'm going to actually pull this up here so we can see it a little better. And we're going to say, we're going to say dispose. And we're going to say super.dispose but we have to do this at the end here. And here we're going to remove observer. So we're going to stop watching this object. Now the magic actually happens right here in this did change app lifecycle state. And what we need to do is just say print and we're going to just say We're just going to print out the current state. And then we want to actually switch on this thing. So I'll say switch state. And we're going to say case app lifecycle state dot. And we'll say inactive. Paused. Why 
Why is this suddenly griping and complaining? Missing cl Oh, that's why. It knows what we need, so it wants to force us to do everything. So we're just going to add those in super quick. We're going to say paused. We want resumed and suspending. And then we're just going to grab that because I want those to stand out a little bit here. We'll say inactive. Paused. Resumed. Ah, maybe. And of course, suspending. All right, let's actually reload that whole app. And you can see the first thing that happened was init state. Oh, where is it? Do a full restart on this thing. It says it restarted. Hmm. Did I break it? I have a very good knack of breaking things. We're just going to clear everything out of here. Start it again. Maybe that's a bug and flutter. I don't know. All right, so we're going to start this whole thing again. Disclaimer alert, flutter is still an alpha, but I have a habit of just horribly breaking things. So, Okay, so there is our init state right here. Bang. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually... And you see, as soon as we click that, it's still kind of there. It's in the app chooser. You can see how the state equal lifecycle paused. And if we go back, resumed. So that's kind of what it would do. So if we were to, let's just clear this out. What if my dart analysis is not working? Darn it. I got to figure out why that doesn't work. Hmm. But anyways. So if we go in here and we just go in here and we open like say the clock, you can see how our app is paused. And then if we just go back in, you can see how the state equals resumed and resume and life goes on. Now let's clear this out and let's actually kill our app and see what happens here. And you can see how Lost connection to device, but nothing actually happened. We didn't actually get it disposed there. Kind of a little disappointed in there, and it might be a bug in my code, not necessarily in uh, Flutter itself. But it gives you a rough idea of how to actually interact with these. Now, what would you use them for? Well, let's say you're running like a live video feed or something. Well, whenever it gets paused, you want to actually pause that video feed. You want to stop downloading because the user's no longer looking at it, and you're just chewing up their battery. And then when it resumes, when they pull it back into the foreground, that's when you would start it again. Um, init and dispose are a little bit different. Init is where you would like load the settings off the disk or download from Firebase, where dispose would be where you would clean everything up. And I'm kind of a little wondering why I never got a dispose here. I'll have to figure that out. But uh, I hope that answered your question. I know it took me a while to figure this out, and there really wasn't a whole lot of clear examples out on the web that I found. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck. But... Uh, at any rate, thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. Um, source code for this, obviously, will be out on voidrums.com. You just go to Tutorials and then GitHub. And be sure to join the Voidrums Facebook group.